Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. The day I'm filming this, it is July 31st, and if you know what that means, then you know it is Harry Potter's birthday. And in honor of Harry Potter's birthday, I thought I would film a little Harry Potter quizzes video. I'm basically going to go on to Pottermore. I set up a new account, and I'm going to be taking the Hogwarts house, Ilver Morning house, wand and patronus quizzes all here for you i don't remember what my patronus is actually i think it was a cat but i'm not certain because i took it a long time ago my house i got in the past is hog it bleh. my house i got in the past is hufflepuff not hogwarts and i am a proud proud hufflepuff so i am hoping that I get Hufflepuff again and not have to go cry into a pillow. Today you'll be watching this, it's not Harry Potter's birthday, but it's close. So I hope you enjoy this Harry Potter themed video. If you want to see another Harry Potter themed video, then you can check out my Harry Potter DIY video. I made four different DIYs, all inspired by the films and books. I love how it turned out, it's super cute and fun, DIYs is something that I love to do the most. So definitely check that out if you haven't already and let's get into the video all right so i have to turn like the screen sharing thing on my phone i got my hufflepuff pop socket so it's rooting for me we're gonna start with which house am i i'm gonna do this oh okay Four boxes are placed in front of you. Which would you try to open? Small tortoise shell box embellished with gold inside with some small creatures seem to be squeaking. So four boxes are placed in front of you. I feel like I would do the creature squeaking because there's a creature in there. I'm gonna save it. What are you most looking forward to learning at Hogwarts? Transfiguration, turning one object into another, flying on a broomstick, hexes and jinxes, all about magical creatures, and how to befriend, care for them. Love mm. the secrets about the castle, every area of magic I can. Oh, I mean, ah, care for magical creatures, or just every area? I don't know. I feel like that's so broad. Ah, in this moment. Ooh, every area. Oh, which would you rather be? Trusted, praised, like beard. I would rather be trusted. If you're attending Hogwarts, which pet would you choose to take with you? Oh, I hate this one. I can never decide between like a cat or an owl because I love cats but it's just like an owl is something so different cool i know i want to take a toad oh do i want a gg i didn't know this was going to be so stressful is this because i'm so pressured to get hufflepuff if i don't get hufflepuff i need to cancel this video <laughs> i think we're gonna go with just the snowy owl left or right I choose right. Ah! Okay. <laughs> I didn't know when it was gonna happen. Yay! I got Hufflepuff. Okay. Whew, 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 whew. All right. I don't care about the rest of this video now. I was just so scared. Okay. I'm happy. I'm happy. Oh, I got Hufflepuff. I know this like doesn't matter in the grand scheme of things, but it matters to me. Okay. All right. Turned my profile so far so good i'm just gonna do discover your wand next to ensure we find the perfect wand for you it's very important that you answer the following questions honestly first of all would you describe yourself as average height short or tall i am average and your eyes dark brown yes they are dark brown slash black was the day on which you were born an even number? An odd, an even number. <laughs> Do you most pride yourself on your kindness, optimism, determination, resilience, imagination, intelligence, or originality? I would say my imagination. Who you most fear? Fire, darkness, isolation, small spaces, or heights? I most fear the darkness. 
and a chest of magical artifacts, which would you choose? Mirror, dusty bottle, a golden key, silver dagger, bound scroll, glittering jewel, or black glove. Ooh, that's hard. I feel like I would do the silver dagger in a way. Or the jewel. Sycamore wood with a dragon heart string core, 12 and a half inches, surprisingly swishy flexibility. More about my wand, because I don't know what that means. Sycamore makes a questing wand eager for new experiences and losing brilliance if engaged in mundane activity. As may be deduced, the Sycamore's ideal owner is curious, vital, and adventurous, and when paired with such an owner, it demonstrates capacity to learn and adapt that earns it a rightful place among the world's most highly praised wand woods. Ho, ho, ho. Dragon Heartstrings choose wands with the most power and which are capable of the most flamboyant spells. Dragon wands tend to learn more quickly than other types. They also bond strongly with the current owner. The dragon wand tends to be easiest to turn to the dark arts, though it will not incline that way if of its own accord. Okay, so that's my wand. Now let's do the Patronus, which I honestly don't know what I'm gonna get because I've heard this one's like timed and that affects your results as well. Oh, this is so cute! You can only discover your Patronus once. Well, I'm doing it twice because I've taken this years ago. I don't think I'm gonna talk during this one because it's like instinct. Something's trying to emerge from your wand. Keep going. It's not clicking when I want it to. Oh, is it happening already? Touch, drag, and release for your Patronus. I got a cat again. <laughs> Last time I got a wild cat. This time I got a ragdoll cat, which I don't know exactly what that is. It's meant to be cat, apparently. Aww, I got a ragdoll cat. These are so cute. I'm a fluffy little cat. That's so cute. Oh, I like that. I need to send this to Jared. <laughs> He doesn't know what I'm doing, so he's just gonna think I'm sending him a picture of cats, which is normal, but back to business. It's getting hot. I'm in a tank top and I'm still hot right now. It is crazy in California. Okay, last quiz of the day. Ilvermorny School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. I don't really know a lot about these houses, so I'm just gonna begin. What's your preference? Explore. All I need is an opportunity, a little more time, some help, already inside of me. I'd say an opportunity. What jinx would you least like to experience? A jinx that meant nothing was funny. A jinx that made all food taste like straw. A jinx that kept you constantly awake. I actually wouldn't mind that one. <laughs> a jinx that played music constantly in your head. A jinx that forced you to tell the truth. Food or funny? I laugh a lot. I feel like nobody would want food to taste like straw. I'd say nothing was funny because that's like my number one go-to in a person if I like them is whether or not they're funny. <laughs> Would you least like to lose your reputation, health, luck, dreams, love, hope? I would least like to lose hope. I wish I knew how to forget, win, escape, get through. I'd say escape. If I could, I would never feel Pain, fear, regret, shame, regret. Think of the question you would most like answered by a person or an all-knowing being or device which the following most closely resembles an answer you'd like to hear. Without a shadow of a doubt, never, very soon, it is impossible. I will show you everything you come with me. like a very deep question I'm thinking of in my head. So I'm gonna say I will show you everything. No curse can work without the victim's secret consent. False. Thunderbird. 
he's been sorted into Thunderbird. Okay, I need more about my house here because I don't know much about these, like I mentioned. Named after the magical beast, Thunderbird house is sometimes considered to represent the soul of the wizard or witch. It is also said that Thunderbird favors adventures. Thunderbird traits represent the soul favors adventures. Is that kind of it? Okay, here are all of my results. Jamie, you are Hufflepuff. My Patronus is a ragdoll cat, which I'm very pleased about. My wand, sycamore wood with a dragon heartstring core, 12 and a half inches, surprisingly swishy flexibility. And my Overmory house is a Thunderbird. So let me know down in the comments what you guys got. If you've taken these, I'm going to link Pottermore down below. Hope you guys had a fun time here and celebrated Harry Potter's birthday. <laughs> like I mentioned, you can check out my Harry Potter DIY if you'd like. I just wanted to film a little something because you can never have enough Harry Potter in my opinion. Oh look! Ding! Harry Potter! Yay! Make sure that you give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more Harry Potter related videos. Subscribe if you haven't already and hit that little notification bell so you know every time I upload. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you all next time. Bye! Winds southerly at about 15 with gusts to 25 miles an hour. Barometric pressure 30.00 and is rising and no precipitation.